Hi, my name is Natalie Williams. I'm a certified yoga teacher. Welcome to the month of May where we are going to do different poses each week where I'm going to lead you through different modifications and variations of this pose. Make sure you always consult with your physician prior to engaging in any new exercise routine. Hello and welcome back to the month of May. In this series, we are doing modifications and variations of different poses. Today's session, we are going to do splits. So from here, if you either want to do a split, you've never done it, or if you're an advanced person who can do splits amazingly, there's going to be a challenge for both of you. This is one of the most common things I get asked to do. If somebody says, I want to learn a split. So first, just be patient with yourself and let's go ahead and get started. So right now, make sure you're first, you're warm. Your muscles are warm. Um, they're like rubber bands. You need to make sure you warmed up. Next, I'm just gonna do the basics and then go to advance, okay? So if you have something for your knee, could be like a balance pad, could be a pillow, you can place it underneath that left knee at this time. So the right leg is gonna come on up and we're gonna lean forward and just stretch open the iliopsoas and the hips right here, holding on here for a few breaths in and out. And if you're not as advanced as I am, don't worry about it, don't try to be, just do your level and then that way you can grow because you don't want to find any injuries. You want to go slow and steady. And these are just some exercises you can do holding it as long as you need to until we transfer to this one. So you need to have flexibility in the hips in order to do a split. Next, flexibility a lot in the hamstring. So we're gonna lift up. If you can go down further, go down further with the toes up. If you can't, just hang out right here. But you want to hinge from the hips so you're really stretching that hamstring. Next, very important before this, know that the most common injuries in a split are when somebody's going in and out of it. When you're pulling and pushing at the same time, it can rip the muscle fibers. You do not want to do that. So always know your end game of how you're going to come out and into the split. Don't try to pull your legs together, especially if it's out of a range, you can hurt yourself. So right now we're going to go ahead and pull this away, unless if you need it out to the side, unless if you're growing into it a little bit more. I'm gonna keep it just for an example. Next, we're doing a lunge here, a nice deep lunge, and we're slowly bringing this right leg forward. If this is your max, just stay here for about um, 90 seconds. It just releases the fascia in your body and then slowly you can grow. If you are already here, please again remember that pushing and pulling, don't try to do something you're not ready for. You can remove this back pad or you can bring it out to the right hip. We're gonna slowly come down and come on down. So if you want to put a, this um, pad underneath or a blanket underneath this right hip, this would be your next level. And you want to hang out here if this is your most advanced that you can do. So right now this is the full extended split or maybe it's all the way down here or maybe you can go down all the way to the ground, okay? So this is the full extension. So of course I can work on mine, everybody can work on theirs a little bit more, there's still some um, movement here. Next I'm going to teach you a variation. So make sure you do this on both sides, get the left leg in, go through those different areas, but look, how are you going to get out of this? If you are not ready to get out of this, even if you're all the way up here and you're getting fatigued, roll over to the side, make sure your elbows are back and you can take it, roll over it and kind of, I call it a cheerleader squat, bend the knees and come out of it this way. Do not try to pull the legs together if you're not ready for it. Remember that really easy injury. So I'm gonna roll it out this way because I don't wanna play with it either. So next, um, you can hang out if you're still hanging out in whatever length that you have the most, hang out there. For everyone else who has a split or who has really strong upper balance and just wants to try a variation, a variation is just adding something different. Your right leg could be up to the sky. You could be doing a standing split. I'm gonna show you a flying split. So in order to get into a flying split is the right leg, I'm gonna show you the right side because my right leg is a little bit more stretched out right now. I'm gonna kick the right leg up to the sky. Then I'm gonna look up towards the sky, bend the right knee, the arm, the right leg is gonna come up and hook onto this right arm. I'm gonna bend the elbows in. And then from here, I'm gonna kick out the right leg. So yeah, I'm not really doing a huge split, but this is, you can kind of see how it's in a split mode, but it's a balance. This is a variation. It's not a modification because I'm not intensifying it or lowering it. I'm just having fun with the split. My back leg is gonna come down and this is how you can have a little bit more fun with it. Full extended split right here. If you have a split, a different variation, not necessarily modification is 
First of all, your left back leg needs to be extremely flexible in your quad. You can bend the back left leg and you can try to hold. Variation, not modification. Gently come on out. And first of all, great job wherever you are. Whatever you just did, take it over to your left side or at the end of this video, you can. I'm gonna show you different ways to get into a split. You have a strap. You're gonna come on down to your back. We're still doing the right leg and we're gonna bring the right knee in to the chest. From here, we're gonna extend the left leg down and we're gonna just kick the right leg up for a moment. Notice how it's a split. If you have a band, a strap, or even a towel at home, you can hook your foot underneath it and we're just gonna pull down. From here, this is a split. You might be a split up here, you might be all the way down here, or you can bring it out to the side and bring it up into a full extension and use your hand so you're not gripping onto the strap too hard. So this is a good way just to kind of gauge your split before you go down into it. Um, but you'll notice the other way you have gravity pushing you down a little bit, making a little bit more pressure um, and active stretch. So do whatever works for you. Make sure again that you go slow and steady and you're not forcing anything. And it takes a while to actually grow. Um, and deepen your practice and stretch, but you have to do it consistently. Maybe three times a week, every other day after you're warm. Please do not do these when you're cold. Um, again, your muscles are like rubber bands. So make sure you do the left side and have fun with it. Thanks for watching.